Don't forget the hats feed the ducks. And all the ducks that we raised this year were donated to the local food banks. If you want to help out, 50ducksonhottub.com. Below the video, there's a link. You can make monthly donations. You can make a one-time donation. Or you can pick yourself up one of these t-shirts and support the duck adventure. Give to charity this year. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the duck adventure. I think it's July 29th. Look at the little ducks. The ones that There's more of them, though. I don't know where they are. Well, they're down the lake, obviously, but uh, this is what's come back so far at 5.22 that's, got, that's ready for a snack, as you say, that's hungry. Silly ducks. I don't believe it. I can't believe they took off on me last night. It's gonna be another hot day. It's like, it's like 20 degrees Celsius right now, guys, and it's uh, 5.22 in the morning. So it's gonna be a, just a scorcher. Look at that for a beautiful sky. Well, the ducks are getting a treat here. I'm letting them out really early today because these guys want to come in and have a snack. It's only 5.30, so they can get out. They'll, uh, <laughs> they can strip the feeder. Oh, look, they're all silent looking at me because they don't know what's going on. They're all standing around going like, okay, what's going on? You're out here far too early. You want to come out really early, guys? They want to go inside and get a snack. Look at them. Oh, now there's going to be a traffic jam. Okay guys, I gotta go in. It's uh, the deer fly and the horse flies are unbelievable, unbelievable actually. I'm getting, uh, I, I'm not going down to uh, film and go to the lake. It's, it's only 5.30, I got out my coffee. I just got up at 5.22. And there's lots of bugs, the mosquitoes are crazy. There's a group that's not wasting any time. I'm back. I got to the door and I said, oh, put up with the mosquitoes, Matt. Look at that group going. Early morning swim. Listen to them. They're happy ducks. Oh, they're doing the loop around the tree, guys. Look at this. Okay, they're going to go to the lake. I'll try to pull up with the mosquitoes here for you.
Okay, something's happened to the group down in the swamp. They've stopped halfway. The group in the swamp decided just to drill in the swamp. That's bizarre. The group that came back last night that was hungry never went into the pen to eat. That's bizarre. I thought for sure they were going to go into the pen and uh, I probably they were missing their friends. <laughs> Look at that. You can tell it's really early and I'm not used to doing it this early. Uh, I totally forgot about these little guys. And they're right here, they're waiting to get out. Alright ducks. Come on out. These young ones, these ones are really, really, I'm so impressed by these little guys. And it's just a steady stream coming out of the barn. Wake up! Oh, there's a whole bunch of sleeping inside the barn. Oh, there's handicapped duck at the door. Oh, this is this. Okay, everybody's gone. What's going on? It comes outside. I don't know. Oh no! There's nobody out here. Hey! hey. Oh, there's my friends. <laughs> oh, a handicapped duck came out on his own. Oh, there's a bunch of oh Muscovies in there sleeping. He's always seen some Muscovies slip in at night. Okay, that's just Miss Goldie's here. I'm just getting eaten alive, guys. I'm sucking it up for you. You know, guys, if you think about this, you know, it's 5.20, well, 5.30 right now. You know, I'm filming. And, you know, and I'm filming at 9 o'clock at night. That's how long the day is here with the Dog Adventure. Uh, just in the filming. When you're on animal time, you know, they don't have a clock. Just look at these guys go. These little ones, they're on a mission. Just look at them. All mosquitoes know. Oh, guys, I'm getting really eaten alive here. It's bad. Shaking camera brought to you by mosquitoes. Listen to the woodpecker in the background. Look at that. This headed straight to the water. And the little ones, they're uh, going to the small part of the creek, which I don't understand why they start off down there first, because they end up out on the, the lake during the day.
honestly guys I can't take it anymore the uh, my my legs are just completely getting yeah, eaten mosquitoes it's too early once the Sun comes out the mosquitoes are gone but right now the Sun's not up what a beautiful morning though it's gorgeous so that's a very very early morning rush oh guys the deer fly are crazy hello duckies what a beautiful morning it's uh, about quarter to eight and I'm going to uh, take the uh, canoe out there's that big blue herring I think uh, that big blue herring is because all the little ducks are back at the creek I think it's the herring because I know the the blue herrings will eat little ducks now I don't know if my little ducks are getting a little too big for it but oh listen to them hello ducks all right let's get the canoe out I brought the shotgun just in case if mr. Hawk decides to show up I can at least give him a welcoming now guys the reason I, I didn't get the electric boat out is uh, I find the canoe the ducks are much more uh, uh, receptive to it um, I think it's the noise of the uh, the aluminum because the canoe I can for some reason get much closer to the ducks all right so let's head over to the other side of the lake because I see a whole bunch of ducks at the other side of the lake oh they're all over the place the reason I'm out here uh, is I, I was filling my coffee up because I haven't had my second coffee yet and um, I looked out the window and there must have been a hundred ducks on the other side of the lake but of course by the time I get down here they've all come back so let's go over and see what's going on look at the little duck sleeping on the water look at that <laughs> oh man that's so cute you guys be careful there's snapping turtles out here I brought the big camera too so once we get uh, in position here I can get some uh, footage look at these ducks on the far side of the lake and I'm regretting not bringing the aluminum boat because I really need an anchor because the winds picked up now and it actually blew me into shore this batch of ducks I can't believe it we're we're almost completely at the other end of the lake now they're really really got some serious uh, courage or they're just blind, uh, naive, you know, they have no idea that there's lurking death under the water, as in snapping turtles. I'll give you a shot how far away we are. There's the house. That's how far away we are. We're at the other side of the lake. And this group of ducks is now going farther. They're going right to the other end. Look at that. There's a bunch of ducks behind me uh, in the bush too. I just heard them, uh, you can hear them honking back at the tree line. Oh, they're gone. What a difference compared to, you know, previous years with the flock. It's so awesome that they're all over the place. And these are all really young ducks too. Oh, one, uh, I can't turn my head enough here, guys. Here, I'll turn the canoe. This one just came out of the uh, grass freaking. Where are my friends? Well, the ducks didn't follow me back. But because of me uh, paddling across the lake, all the ducks are, uh, they headed towards the mouth of the creek here. There's a bunch, uh, they're just in the creek there. No, actually, they're drilling it out so that I can't walk in there anymore. That's where we rescued that little duck last night. Let's listen to them. Hello, ducks! Hello!
Hello? Hello? I'm <laughs> getting louder. Hello, ducks! But the little ones aren't coming out. They're still back at the creek. I can uh, I can just see some of their heads popping up. I think it's the blue heron that's causing the problem with those guys. Just listen to them. You guys wouldn't believe it. it's eight o'clock. And right now, I, my head is just sweating. I'm, uh, I can't believe, it. today is gonna be a nasty, another nasty hot day. The ducks will probably more likely come back to the yard and lay in the shade because the water is so hot, it's not even refreshing for them to be in the water. I forgot to bring the thermometer down. Oh, there's that pretty duck. Where are you? I just lost you. There you are. Oh, we're going to go back. I wonder if we're going to go back and swim in that back area. Basically drilling non-stop here. It's. Uh, I wonder how much they eat during the day. They're pretty relaxed. Oh, guys, we got two of those pretty ducks. Where are they? Right there on the viewfinder. There's one. And then the other one's right behind it. Look at that. I really like the looks of those. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they finally turn out like. They lose, they're still pretty fluffy. They still got some fluff to them. They're all just looking at me. The canoe is like, it's just so much better for them. I think it's because I'm closer to the water, like the, at their level. So many of them are sleeping. Actually, I'll try to give you a shot here. There's one that's sleeping right now. Oh, I'm doing this in Braille with my... Where is my... Where is he? There he is. Look at that. Sleeping. Floating. Guys, I'm going to go have my breakfast. I, my, my belly's growling. And I still need another coffee. It's... Uh, I'm, I'm still not totally woken up. This is uh, an early morning for me, letting the ducks out early and coming out here. I just can't believe they're, uh, well normally you think about it, you know, they, I usually let them out about 7.30, so you know, normally they'd only just be getting to the lake, but I'm looking around here and there are so many ducks sleeping, like, I'll give you a couple more shots here. Like, look at that. There's another one. Actually, this group here, there's quite a few of them with their uh, heads tucked in. Look at that. Okay, there's another one. Talk about relaxed. Just look at them all. All right, I'm gonna go uh, and have my breakfast and see how Dougie's doing. Update on Doug, I just talked to the vet actually before I came out here because uh, I hadn't fed Doug yet and I thought just in case my vet wanted to see him today and I just, Doug's really, I don't know if, it, I think it's the heat that he's uh, breathing hard even though he's laying on the tile floor in the house, but um, my vet wants tomorrow at 10 a.m. we're going to uh, take Doug to the vet, and uh, it, my vet's talking like right away. He wants to put him uh, down or under again uh, to do a scope because uh, he's worried that Doug is not improving. Uh, from what he told me this morning, uh, for this length of time of doing nothing, laying in the house, Doug should actually be breathing normal. So he's really worried 
Um, I thought it was a hawk, it was a blue herring. He's really worried uh, about Doug's uh, throat, and he wants to do a, you know he wants to do a, a complete check to see what's going on. And the quill on Doug's nose. He won't let me near his nose. He, I think, <laughs> no, I think he remembers. You know, when I pulled the uh, the quill out that morning and gave him that quick wake up call, and uh, he uh, he let me do this side of his nose, and, like I can touch this side and go near it with my face. As soon as I go this side, he pulls away. So he's a little stressed out. But I'm going to uh, go and have breakfast and check on Doug uh, because I just fed him and I want to make sure he ate all his food because his medicine's in his food. So tomorrow, 10 a.m., we're going to the vet to take Doug in and, uh, you know, finally, you know, try to find out what's going on here and, and why uh, it's taking so long for him to heal. I just came in the house and uh, Doug didn't even come to see me at the door. This heat uh, and Doug's throat breathing problem, he, the poor dog, is uh, seriously knocked on his bum. He didn't touch his food and I made him, you know, his favorite scrambled eggs. I've got to, uh, I got to spice it up with something here. I probably have some grated cheese or something because um, his medicine's in there. Ten o'clock tomorrow, Dougie. I'm gonna get another look and see what's going on with you. I don't believe the weight you lost. I'm really worried, Doug. scaring me oh guys it's a hot one today it's 11 o'clock and it's already 35 degrees celsius uh they've got heat warnings all over the internet the ducks are doing absolutely nothing uh there's a bunch out on the water but there's most of them not most but a lot of them are, are sitting here in the shade the young ones uh there's a bunch of them on this side of the building and there's a bunch on the uh underneath the um, uh the structure i built for them over there under in the shade so what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm just refreshing all the water so it's cold water uh, because the ducks, we all know that ducks love cold well water. So I'm going to uh, fill up the water for them here. Get them fresh water, nice and cold, help them cool down because uh, it's like, I, I can't even, I was on the back deck, I was setting up to do some more washing and I was like, I could feel the heat coming off the wood. Uh, it was it just, it's too hot. I'm gonna wait till the end of the day. Uh, poor Dougie's inside the house. I've got a fan set up blowing easy he likes to lay um in the in the uh, uh bathroom floor because it has the coolest floor in the house and i've got a fan blowing in the corner and he is laying in the corner with the fan blowing on him uh he the poor dog's cooking all right it's official egg recon i got nothing today it's over uh the only thing i could think of is maybe because uh, i let them out at like was like 5 25 or 5 30 this morning that they probably dumped some eggs in the swamp on me. Look at these little ducks. Cold water. Right to the cold water. And then we've got the other bunch. Down there to the cold water. They're trying to get inside of it. Little ducks in cold water. It is so hot, guys. Well, look at these. Look at these ones here in the shade. Like, they're all, everybody's just panting. It's a hot day. I actually just plugged in the exhaust fan on the metal shed because the ducks were hanging around the front of the metal shed and, he, and a bunch of them were on the inside and I went in there and I'm not kidding, it must have been over 110, 115 degrees inside the shed. So at least this way they can go in there uh, well, once the building cools off. It is a scorcher and it's only like right now, I think it's 10 to 11. Now we got a lot more heat to go today. Okay, I just put Handicap Duck in there. Uh, he, he had come out of the uh, the front of the barn and was uh, cooking himself laying in the sun. So I just put him in there and he's totally freaked out because he, I don't think he knows how to swim. Well, he knows how to swim, it's just he doesn't realize he knows how to swim. He should calm down pretty soon here and uh, start playing bathing himself. But the silly little duck was laying there in the sun just cooking itself. Still doesn't know it's struggling. Oh man, that duck, something's wrong upstairs. You know it's hot when you just lay right in front of the water trough with your head resting on the ledge. Look at that duck. That's how hot it is, guys. The ducks are just staying close to the cold water. 
All right, handicapped duck's got a serious problem here. Look at this, doesn't even know enough. Back up and go the other way, bird. You can't go through here. Oh, you're having a problem. Okay, you're at the wrong end of the tub if you want to get out. Go to the other end. Go. Turn around. Go. Go, duck. The other way, there's a ramp right there, right behind you. No, no, don't come this direction. Okay, this duck has got a serious problem. It's trying to come out this way. Come on, turn around. No, 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 stop coming towards me. You're not right upstairs, are you? Serious mental issues. Come on, turn around. Okay, cut. There. Oh, that was difficult. I filled up all the water around here, washed everything out. I even took the scrub brush and I've scrubbed everything out. And this duck has been struggling in that corner the whole time. Can't, you know, and you saw me kept pushing it and it kept turning right back. I honestly think uh, it's got something wrong. Well, I know it's got something wrong upstairs. Okay, I just watched it walk right over the edge. All right, that duck has got, I don't think that duck's gonna last long, actually. Look at these little ducks. They're pile, anywhere they're shade, everybody, but yet, you know, look at, okay, they're dealing with the shade in the middle of the pen, but look at this, guys. That's completely empty. They don't know enough to move, but there's a couple ducks over here. I've got the right idea. Look at that, the little sneaks. Right inside. They're not stupid. If you're small enough fit between the cracks, go for it. Okay, come on, the rest of you go in. Your friends in there. Well, we got some ducks that are uh, got some smarts and just stay down in the water. But that water's got to be some serious warm. But there's a fair amount of them scattered all over the lake. Okay, they finally figured it out. And they're in there floating around cooling off. Thirty-six and a half degrees in the shade, guys. That is crazy how hot it is. And you're getting birds walking around with their mouths open like that. They're just hanging around the bathtub area. I'm going to uh, just get the water running here and uh, freshen it up for them. It's brutal hot, guys. Brutal. Like even the Muscovies, which they I've never seen the Muscovies pant, and uh, you know we've got a Muscovies are even walking around with their mouths open. 37 in the shade.
That's crazy for this part of the world. I came around the corner to uh, fill the tub and I, I had to show you this, the amount of ducks that are st that are in the pen here in the shade. Just look at them. They're all, uh, the shade of the tree, uh, they're all hanging in here. <laughs> it's poor little ducks. The, we the weather says one more day of this really uh, hot weather and then we're gonna be back to like 25, 26, 23, you know, reasonable temperatures. Ducks will get a lot more active again. But this is crazy. It's uh, like you, the, the, nobody's doing anything. I'm not doing much either. Like um, I'm supposed to be working, uh, you know, finishing off uh, the wash in there. And I went out in the back deck, and it was like a. Well, you know what it felt like? It felt like I opened up the oven door, and you only know, get that blast of heat. That's what it feels like. I wanted to come down and finally get a temperature on the water, and the water temperature is 87 degrees, or roughly it looks like 31 Celsius uh, water temperature. So there is a little bit of relief for the ducks if they come down here because, you know, it is, well, it's about six degrees uh, Celsius cooler uh, for them to be in the water than it is in the air. There are some ducks down here, but I'm, uh, the majority of them are up in the yard in the shade. I guess uh, they would rather be in the shade than this uh, warm water because really, you know, that is still pretty warm. that's it for ducks down here there's uh, no other ducks everybody else is uh, heading up to the yard something tells me when it cools off a little bit they're gonna come back down here I think after uh, they feed themselves fill their bellies the temperature comes down they'll come back down here But honestly, guys, it's nicer down here than it is up at the house. There's actually a nice breeze down here. Up at the house, the uh, the trees block the breeze. Like, mind you, it does feel like you're standing in front of a hairdryer. It's uh, that's the kind of breeze it is. It is pretty warm, but uh, there's no breeze up at the house at all. It's all uh, you know. I'm actually quite shocked how uh, nice it is. Really, it's just too bad the ducks are all cooking themselves up in the yard. Okay, there's injured neck duck, and she's uh, you know she is healing on certain parts of her neck and then some parts it's still pretty exposed oh. she's eating and she's drinking she's still going I just discovered another duck that's hurt um, uh, they disappear you know you get a glimpse of them in the flock and then they you know they mix in between and you can't find them anymore but this one it looks like its eyes ripped out and the back of its head is all gashed but now it's gone like, I gotta get this hawk. It's causing like way too much. This is this is worse than the coyote last year. At least, you know, with the coyote, you know, you never it just the, the ducks just disappeared. You know, they didn't you know were left behind to, to suffer. Look at this, just chilling in the cold uh, water. I just changed it, so it's ice cold water. Let's look at them. Actually, the one in the back corner looks like it's going to sleep. Yeah, its eyes keep closing. I just filled it, uh, well I went to the lake and did the temperature for you guys and uh, I'm back, so about 10 minutes ago. Look at these ducks. The cold well water, they're, they're all, they're sitting in it. You guys need to go to the lake. The water is a little bit cooler. Alright guys, I screwed up tonight here. I had supper timed wrong and I was inside eating and I realized oh no it's getting dark which as it is you can tell um, we're about maybe 20 minutes away from complete darkness here and I was talking to my buddy today who is a, a really really big time hunter I told him my situation here and you know it could be you know we, we did have those uh, ducks that were killed right in the yard which you know we saw the hawk and it could very well be a hawk but I told him what was happening down the lake and, he, and, and plus also with what happened here last fall it could, all, it could be an otter or a mink. Uh, <clears throat> it's quite possible uh, that's down here because you know we know for a fact that we had those otters last year uh, here they could have returned and that's what's causing the problem and the only way I'm going to get this otter or otters is if I come down here 
really early in the morning like I did you know in the fall and you know before anybody's you know down here in the lake and just you know try to catch sneak up on them swimming around so it's quite possible but look at this this group of ducks here is down here sleeping which now that uh, you know I know that we could either have a, an otter I'm just taking a quick glance here guys while I'm talking to you um, an otter or a mink problem I just thought I'd take a look just in case I have to take a shot oh it was a bird I'm spooking myself here doesn't look like anybody down there all right let's take these silly little ducks back put the safety back on the gun just in case I'd fall but that's the possibility that we've got a uh, you know an otter or a mink but you know I know when I found those uh, you know the ducks you know the carcasses uh, you know up there in the, the you know in the middle of the yard and then you know I saw the big bird flying you know that that definitely was a, a hawk situation plus my neighbor seeing a big hawk taking out his ducks in the field so we, we've got you know could we could actually have guys hawk otter and a mink you know we could have them all look at these ducks look at this they're trying to go to the lake I would turn my back and they took off and they're headed towards the lake come on so guys tomorrow I have a, a, a vet appointment with Doug at 10 a.m. so I don't know what's gonna happen here filming tomorrow um, I'll, I'll I I have some tells me to get up early tomorrow earlier than normal and go down to the lake and see if I can scout anything out I'll take the you know the camera with me just in case you know we do get a, a spotting and I can get a shot off maybe we can get rid of something here that's causing a problem at the water but other than that I'm gonna be going to the vet tomorrow you know what's so frustrating guys is that Doug would actually take care of the otter you know uh, and the mink because he would be down at the lake he'd be running the shoreline and if he caught you know like I, we already saw last year what Doug was like with otters you know he got onto their scent and he was like you know on them like you know like like flies on feces so it's and it's you know it's frustrating because here we got Doug and he uh, you know he can't do it because of you know medical reasons because he got hurt